Hello, it's Delusion Dispeller, back to tell you more about what I like and don't like about being a cashier or a bagger in a grocery store. Alright, everybody has to wait some time in life. It is a reality. I know my children tell me, I hate waiting for things. And I tell them, you might want to get used to it because you're going to wait the whole rest of your life. You're going to wait on hold on the phone. You're going to wait for a doctor to call your name. You are going to wait in a grocery store line, which brings me to this. If you have to wait, understand that that is part of shopping. Take a deep breath and don't let it out too loud that I have to hear you sigh in impatience that I am not waiting on you right away. I am going as fast as I possibly can. My time and how fast I get this person through the line is also dependent on what kind of antics they're pulling. Do they have their card ready to pay for stuff? Do they know what they're doing? Do they know what they're getting? Do they have all their stuff or do they have to run and get more? You know, it's not my fault. I'm just doing my job. I'm just going ding, 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 ding through the line, trying to get their groceries out and get them out so that I can go on to the next customer. So you sighing or making rude comments while you're in the line is not helping things any, so please don't. The next thing is, if you smoke, Please leave your nasty smell outside the store. Do not bring it through my line. I am allergic to cigarette smoke, and I'm sure I'm not the only cashier that is, or bagger that is. We are highly allergic to smoky smells, even on your clothing and your coats and your skin. So if you smoke, spray yourself down with something. Don't smoke right before you come in the store or something. But seriously... It really makes us ill and bothers us if we have an allergic reaction to smoking. All right. And don't get mad at me if I don't know what kind of cigarettes you, you smoke even after you tell me the name or describe the color. I don't smoke. I do not know what kind of cigarettes a uh, Marlboro Light with the filter or whatever is. I have to literally go up to the customer service desk in the middle of an order and ask somebody, can you show me where this is? And then you're standing back there upset with me because I don't know what cigarettes you smoke. I don't live with you. I don't watch what pack you grab off the shelf. I have no idea. So please be nice. All right. Um, one of the pet peeves I have is when I am working at the store, I take a bus to work. I don't have a car. And inevitably, one of the managers will tell me, Put stuff back, My take your go backs back is what they say, before you leave. And clean up your register. Okay, I get cleaning up the register. It makes sense. It's germy. You've been touching all over it. People have been putting their stuff on it. Clean it up. But then make me take back stuff that courtesy was supposed to have taken back already before I leave, which makes me miss my bus. I'm not happy about that. Not cool. All right, secret shoppers. I have yet to have my name on the secret shopper grading board. And yet, every manager I know of the main managers has said, well, make sure you smile, make sure you say thank you, make sure you tell them to come again because it reflects on your secret shopper score just in case the secret shopper comes through. Guess what? I've been there over a year. No secret shoppers have ever graced my line. And yet, I look on the secret shopper scoreboard and everybody's name is up there, it seems, but mine and a couple other people. So what, did we just luck out? We don't have the secret shopper capacity or whatever to accommodate them? I don't know. I have yet to have a secret shopper grade me. Oh, which brings me to another point. I got some wonderful favorable grades on those little scorecards they give you in the store. Where are they? I don't see them hanging up. I don't know how I scored. I don't know the pleasant comments people have given about me. I would like to see them so I know what I'm doing right so I can keep doing it right. When I ask the manager, where's those scorecards that that customer, you know, pointed out that they were filling out for me? Oh, well, um, so-and-so has them, the other manager. Well, are they going to be hung up? Oh, we don't know. You may never see them. What is the point? Why have a scorecard I'm not going to know about? I don't get it. It makes no sense. But I guess that is how things go sometimes. All right. So, that's my question. Secret shoppers, where's my score? How am I supposed to improve on things if I don't know what I'm doing wrong? And how am I supposed to feel good about something and continue doing good if I don't know what I'm doing right? Okay, just some quick little things and then I'm done. Things I don't like coming through my line. I mean, inevitably, everybody's got to buy whatever they buy. This doesn't mean I have to like it. Pop. 
I hate days when pop is on sale. Those suckers are heavy. Those two liters or whatever they are, they are heavy. They are bulky. They fall when I try to put them down the thing. By the way, we don't have a conveyor belt system. Like we have a half a conveyor belt. It comes up to you on the conveyor belt, but you got to slide it down the rest of the shelf. Why do we not have full conveyor belts on the darn shelves? It makes no sense to me. It just makes more work for me. Now I watch some of the cashiers. They lay the pop on the side and roll it down the thing. Guess what? If I was the customer, I would not be happy with that because what are you doing? You're shaking up their pop. So when they go to open the top up, pfft, explosion. I don't do that. I lean over and I hand it onto the shelf to whoever's bagging or I bag it up myself. And please, courtesy workers, when you bag those things um, or cashiers when you bag them and I have to put them into the cart, stop putting four or five pop bottles in the stinking bag. I can't lift that. I'm not a Russian weightlifter. So please, you know, limit how many you put in the bag. Pet food. That's another thing. I like that people hold it up so I can scan it. Don't put it up on my shelf and make me have to lift that thing into your cart. It's too heavy, especially the big, huge bags I'm talking about. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm not a guy. I'm, I guess there's some women that can do it, but I, I'm not. I'm not a he woman or whatever. Certain yogurts. Um, I already told you about the, the code on them. They don't scan, so that's why I don't like them. Um, candies that are not bagged. If you go down the candy aisle and you want to put candy up on my shelf, please take the time to put it in a bag. Otherwise, I am chasing little Cadbury eggs all over my conveyor belt and all over the shelf where I work. Please, bag your candies. It just makes it easier for me. Dry ice. I don't do dry ice, people. So, um, yeah, that's what managers are for, and that's why I get the manager. I'm not touching the stuff. I will inevitably burn a hole through my finger or something if I touch a thing of dry ice, because I don't know what I'm doing. Lastly, street salt or sidewalk salt or whatever, solar salt, I guess, is another name for some kind of salt. I don't know what they are. I don't use them. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, I wasn't trained in that. You know, what happens if a customer comes through and asks for solar salt? I don't know. I don't know what it is. So I guess you'll have to educate me when you come through my line. Tell me what solar salt is. And I will leave on this note. Secret shoppers, I am ready for my score, okay? And people that have commented on me, I would like to see those comments. All right. Anyhow, I will let you all go. Thanks for listening to my rant and my praises and whatever it is. It's not that bad working in a grocery store. It's got its pros and its cons. The biggest con is you hurt really bad. Like the day you, you come home from work and probably the next morning. You can barely walk after you get out of bed. I need some really good suggestions from my viewers, you all, about what shoes are the best when you have to stand on your feet for hours at a time. Thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments. God bless and bye.